locals now as well as the general election. Also making headline news today is the fact that a Pablo Picasso painting has broken world records for the most expensive art sale. The painting, called Nude, Green Leaves and Bust, is one of the artist's most sought-after paintings and went for £70 million at an auction on Tuesday night. So can you see its value and how confident is your inner art critic, Sherry? Um, well, I don't know anything about art in that sense, but I know what I like and what I don't like. And I like Picasso, and I think it's entirely up to you. I think it's how you interpret things, how you enjoy things, just like music. And, you know, if you, if you enjoy it, if you like it, if you like that, Picasso, and you, you know, people analyse things too much. And, you know, they put too much into it, you know. But you are just, you, you just, to? Isn't well, that no, idea? I don't think you are supposed to analyse art. Uh, like, you're not supposed to analyse music. I think all you do is sit. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Move on. Don't analyse it and say, oh, but why is it? What is it? I mean, Picasso had a lot of mistresses, and I think a lot of those women are to do with that. But, you know, mm. hey, it doesn't matter. It's well, what you enjoy. Let's say one of his mistresses had a head then. <laughs> and also, it's respect for a painter. You know, there are some painters that you, you automatically look and go, Oh, that's fantastic, but you don't sit and analyse, you just get on with it and enjoy it. It's in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? Absolutely, Sherry? always. But my problem with this painting is, <laughs> is that A, you're right, she looks like she's lost her head and one breast. And, um, and it looks, I'm sorry, but looks like something Kira could draw, who's eight. And the fact that even if you loved it, I think £70 million for anything is obscene. Yeah, I agree I, you know, that. I don't yeah. care who he is or what he does, £70 million, that's someone with more money than sense, as my mother would say. God rest her soul. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's all subjective. I think if you really like it and, you know, you've got that kind of money, you know, do spend you like it. In do this you sense. like it, then? Um, I actually do. I, I did art and art history at school, which is 40 million years ago. But um, Do you like it because it's Picasso? Or, like, if I brought this in and said, Andrew, I've just drawn this, <laughs> would yeah. you go, wow, that's brilliant? Or would you go, that is the biggest pile of rubbish and I wouldn't give you seven pence for it? <laughs> well, no, funny enough, the, the difference would be, that compared to Sherry, is if you could explain to me what it meant, um, then I would see more in it. If it was like, like that, apparently, um, uh, the rate reason she's asleep it's his obsession with um uh submission and possession and this Sorry, sort of yeah. thing now the outline you can see the face that's uh, that's on top there yeah. that suggests that he's having a little peek at her while she's asleep oh. and you can see there's an apple there somewhere just that represents temptation remember like in the garden of eden and this right. sort of thing and oh. the plant mm -hmm. um apparently that's, that's i've had to write this down uh for, for Anyway, it's, a, it's a common plant. <laughs> and uh, apparently, plant. apparently its name means love tree, and it is showing that he Ooh. loved the woman. So oh, actually, well, it's there's well worth 70 there. million there. <laughs> <laughs> now I get it. You see, Kira wouldn't know what kind of plant to exactly. put in Exactly. I'll tell you something. You had a conversation with my eight-year-old at the moment. He'd tell you all about Van Gogh. He's doing it at school, and he knows more about it. I know nothing, um, and which, which is... Strange to some people because they think that when you're musical, musical uh, music and art go in hand in yeah. hand. But I've never been to an art gallery. I wish, probably You've I wish. Never been to an art gallery. No, I haven't. And I went out with a, with a guy that dragged me there once. It was fabulous. <laughs> and um, no, it's just I don't know. Maybe I should be interested you in should. it. I have to say, but I mean that. I just think that's a bit weird. It's a bit weird, you know. She's got a tree coming out of her hip. Her boobs are upside down, <laughs> and her head's off at the back of the book. You, see, you I mean, don't have to do that. You just have, if you don't like it, move on. The yeah. thing is, some art galleries actually are. are I mean, the, uh, there was a particular art gallery I went to, and I remember going into one of the rooms, and there was a plastic sheet on the floor with some dog poo on it. And I thought, hmm. And I didn't think that's interesting at all. No. And, and I moved on. I didn't think it was art either. But then I moved on. I thought, oh, well, look, come on, let's be open-minded. So I go in the next room, and there was a ladder and a mop and a bucket. And I thought... Right, now, what do we understand by this? And then this workman came in and took it away. <laughs> <laughs> and he only paid 5 pounds for that. <laughs> now,